Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be reviewing a beer. And that beer today is 21st Amendment Brewery Hell or High Mango. So let's get to it. Alright, so I'm pretty much trying it blind here. Um, I know nothing about this brewery. Um, I literally went to HEB again and uh, went to their craft beer section and apparently this is a seasonal release so it's not even something that um, you're gonna be able to get year around. But the can is pretty cool. I mean it's got the little, I'm guessing that's like a Statue of Liberty with a mango in her hand and it's got that bright orange label. It is 4.9% alcohol by volume, so it's gonna be a little bit stronger than your average Miller Lite or so, but let's get to it. So, I don't have a beer glass at my apartment right now, but I think this will uh, suffice because I'm always interested in the color. Let's crack that open there. All right, so it does say it is brewed with mangoes. So, um, I like mango flavor. Now, mango fruit, I'm really not gonna go out of my way to eat it. I don't hate it, but um, I do like mango flavored stuff. I'm a big fan of mango white claw. Um, but let's look at this color. Oh shit, I uh, spilt some. Let's give it a little bit more of a head. All right. So it has a decent head. It really is just your standard beer color. I mean, it's it got a very light color. Um, from where I can tell, it's not super, it doesn't look super filtered, which is fine. I think that preserves flavor. And it also could be the mango that gives it that appearance. Um, I'm not even, it's not even close to my face and I can already smell the mango. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, very mango-y. One thing I've noticed from fruit in general is that like, I can smell the, you know, there's more of that essence, I guess, in a fruit on the skin of pretty much any fruit. Um, so basically it's like, it smells like mango skin, you know, it's, the, it's got that full essence is what it reminds me of. Um, it's very mango-y for sure. That is freaking good, dude. <laughs> it, I mean, like, it is such a light tasting beer. Very nice, crisp. Um, I like to keep my beer cold. Some craft beers aren't meant to be cold, but I'm gonna drink it cold no matter what beer I try. Sorry, but no, this is actually really good. Light, crisp, very fruity, obviously. Um, very, it's not overpowering. That mango flavor isn't overpowering, and I was kind of afraid of that. Um, I was afraid that it was going to be a little overpowering because, again, I like mango flavor, but too much is too much, right? So, but no, that is freaking good, though. I mean, think uh, think about it this way. It's kind of like if you added, like, natural mango flavor to, like, a Coors Light or something. Um, very easy to drink. It is, I mean, I really wish it wasn't seasonal because I would buy the heck out of this. that good. I didn't expect to do that. I don't really, I don't really finish beers that fast, but, um, that was delicious. So that's it for this video. Um, if you can find it, definitely get you some, get as much as you can, because this beer, I would say out of 10, I would probably give this a solid uh, seven and a half. It's not super complex but um, it is super enjoyable, super drinkable. I would take this to a barbecue, to a tailgate. Man, it's, it's, a, it's overall, it's a good beer. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a good one. But uh, <coughs> there's a bird for you.